So these folks here, they're sleeping on the motorway. Look, the backpack will be gone very quickly. Somebody wants to steal it. It's dangerous. But it's noisy. So there's the gate. They just go out, walk 10 minutes and sleep in the forest there somewhere. And you have a nice quiet sleep. You won't be woken up by crazy people, dangerous people, rapists, policemen, queers, gypsies, whatever. And then you walk back and you do your hitchhiking for the next day. Well, I would never do that. I did it. I made my mistakes. <laughs> so, I'm going there to the petrol station. Do some asking there. So this is a very nice surprise that keeps me going for a couple of hours more. I don't even know the name in English anymore. Le Mur in French. I forgot that in German as well. Anyway, so the, keeps me going for a few more hours. Just cross the bloody border there. Stop. Octagon. There. That's octagon. Oh, I can't breathe. I'm in France. Oh, I like here. I do some marching that way. Do some hitchhiking. But first, I'm gonna stop. Fill up my belly. Just over the border. Well, I know there's a lot of like control like just next to the border all gives a damn you know, nice i have to stuff with me but keeps me going for the next six hours so france is welcoming me hi mate with all those lovely fruits after the uh, crossing the fascist fascist dictatorship an octagon france is one of the best countries in the world lovely language and it's not the softy language at all you know if you speak like slang and it isn't so bye bye octagon I'll be free for a couple of weeks away from my fucking prison there excuse my French so this means bienvenue en France on vous donne les fruits les murs Nice. They're all wild trees. I like these wild fruits. This one, they are, it's, it's another wild fruit. They make alcohol out of it. Oh, I don't forget, I forgot the name. Yeah. So. The whole hedge is full of them here. Now I remember the name Brembries. There was a Brombeeren in German. The Swiss Germans call them Bromberry. Yeah, Brembries. Okay, welcome in France. Thank you. So this cemetery is quite okay. Uh, you remember I was sitting here in the winter when I went south last winter. So now I crossed the border again. So. I want you to have a look at these things here. There are four of them. What do you think this is? It's always in parks and roundabouts. So this is a part of the oval. It's only one quarter is showing. The rest is under the, under the earth. It's invisible. And there are four of them. Four one quarters. There's another one. And there's another one. So that means we are invisible, but we are one. Because four one quarters is one, is what it means. <laughs> this is the oval, part of the Vesica Peiches. And uh, well, just think of the oval office. They've got the secret symbols all over. I didn't see it last time. Well, it was, it was freezing cold, so maybe I can add that as an excuse. <laughs> So there's the obelisk, I just crossed the border and I'm going south. Uh, what I want to show you is in Corsica, 
that's Ka, where souls will live. And Korsika in Arabic, it means uh, the birthplace of, uh, of the gods. And uh, that's where they have every year, in the first, at the first weekend of uh, September, they have the Giornata Internationale, that means the International Days. Well, all the, the people without a, without a land will gather together, like the, the, the IRA will be coming there, the, the ETA, the, Cors the, the Basque people, the Corsicans, and a lot of others. Maybe the Americans should send a delegation as their country is, has been kidnapped and it's not yours anymore, and the English and the French, and uh, all, everyone. So, this is part of the oval, the Vesica Peiches, it's only one quarter showing, it's four of them, so it means we are invisible, but we are one. Well, how about that, eh? There's an airport nearby, so here I'm hitchhiking here. Come on. I'm standing here, I'm going to Corsica, I have to cross the dip. Oh. What's that? So this is in Alsace, just across the border. Very, very nice night here. It's all green. So I was putting up my tent here. It's uh, the sun is away it's getting dark and I thought somebody is looking at me so I turn around what do I see here wow amazing piercing in my back so the motorway is there I'm going to hitchhike. It just didn't feel like it. I was there at three o'clock. It just didn't feel like it. You must listen to your senses. If you don't feel like it, you know, listen to it, you know. Whoa. So the second day, that's where I slept somewhere behind there, next to the apple trees here. So it's August 2013, I found a nice apple tree here, but they're still a bit hard. But it's nice if you're real thirsty. So yesterday I ate brambries, and today I eat apples. So I'm going to hitchhike on the motorway and do the garbage cans. So, so which one shall I take? The one on the tree, they're still very hard. So, I take the ones in the grass, on the ground. Though most of them, they got s snails on them and holes in it and, and worms in it. So I just take a couple of ones who are okay, who just fell off the tree. Then they're still good. So it means when they're able to fall off the tree, then they're good. Right? So, we can hear the motorway, and uh, well, let's get rolling. So that's where I slept, near the apple trees. Uh, I sat there yesterday on the bridge there for a long time, here's my motorway. So, there's my petrol station. There it is. I'm coming. So, because I've been sitting like the last few months again, like in my prison, I don't get any any movement at all, almost, you know. So I had uh, um, I almost collapsed yesterday with the heat. I've, I'm carrying maybe 30 kilos, so I'm not used to it, you know. I'm getting fat. I'm 110 kilos now. 
Um, I'm sitting, you know, behind the screen, and ha uh, you know, inside all the time, drinking milk coffee. So, what did I do when I almost collapsed? I fell asleep somewhere, and I thought, well, I need a rest. So I put up my tent. I got some apples from the tree, and uh, took it easy, you know. Nature needs, your body needs some time to, uh, to recuperate. So, every time I travel, in a few weeks I lose about 10 or 20 kilos of all this time sitting inside, doing nothing physically in my prison. So, this will happen this time as well. Uh, yeah. So if you feel tired, go in the countryside, put up your tent and give your body the time to recuperate. Time heals, you know. I'm still going to my petrol station here, there's a motorway, until I saw this here. Uh, where is it? I hope it's not a bad omen. I hope it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I took my time yesterday. Oh. Time heals. Well, I hope it heals our nature again with all this radioactivity from fuck you, Shima. And uh, with the bees disappearing and everything. Uh, they've, they've drained out blood of our earth, the petrol. Must be a big hole in the earth. I don't think that, that can heal. So if you start doing this, like traveling and filming and hitchhiking with a backpack, you have to know in the beginning it's hard. Even for me, with all the experience I have, because I haven't moved so much, I haven't used my body. So I know I, in the beginning you have to sleep a lot. Rest a lot. Go where somewhere it's quiet, because you'll be exhausted mentally, physically. The first three days, Take an early sleep, sit against the tree, let the nature suck in and take your time. Your body will get used to it. In a few days, then it will get better. I know this. You just go to sleep, take a little radio with you with an earphone and just say to yourself, tomorrow is another day. Oh, I'm traveling with some friends people they transformed the whole bus into a so they take me a couple of petrol stations further down they even have a baby here it's a couple of dogs <laughs> so they take me two petrol stations further down won't start. Old battery. <laughs> well, this is hitchhiking. So here's the French army on the motorway. Well, I don't think I want to ask him for a ride. Slept here at the same place as I I was a couple of months ago. Um, it's very hot and um, uh, it's a ve very good desert trick what Muslims do. You take in your hand, you take some water and you, do, you get up in your nose and you get your head back so it, it sips in and then you spit all the slime out. It really wakes you up when it's too hot. Uh, Muslims do this all over like, but it's not good in winter when it's cold. It's really a desert trick or where it's very hot, like here in southern France. Uh, so if you're really tired and you haven't been eating, haven't been really eating for a few days now, uh, only a few apples and a couple of brumberries, uh, it's a really good trick, you know, to wake up and get your spirit back. Just get some water up in your nose. Okay, it did help me this morning. 
a little crocodile, Swiss reptilians. These are some Polish hitchhikers. I met them yesterday. They're still here. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. So they slept inside the fence here. I went outside. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> so here's the petrol station. There's the rest of their luggage. I would never sleep inside. I went outside. I met I met a German. He was outside with the camper and I gave me a coffee, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it was real cool, yeah. Nice. They were living in, in the camper there for ten years. So even the trucks that still belongs to the aristocracy, look at that. They still own it, you know. Uh, why do you think they have a castle on it, you know? It's still the aristocracy. And here was the other one with the, the knight on it. And there's the castle. The castle is there. So it's still them ruling. They became the Freemasons. So these are some German hitchhikers. They're hitchhiking all four together. <laughs> Great. So here's another petrol station. <laughs> That was the castle where I was last year. And there's my good old backpack. And there's another tired hitchhiker on the motorway. Looks very tired. So it's for my travels, you know. So uh, two Finnish guys are taking me. Real nice. They take me all the way Hello. to this. Yeah, great. They're nice people from Finland. Hi. Hi. Key thoughts. <laughs> Bloody hell, the boat's just leaving in front of my nose. I need another five minutes. Ah. So there's my bloody boat. I just missed it by five or ten minutes. Ah, so I have to wait like until in the middle of the night there's another one. So here's my ship, a couple of hours later, let's hope it works, going to Corsica, that's Corsica in French. So here's the harbour in Nice. So there's my ship, but since 2004 they are asking for a, an identity card or a passport. So since I don't have any, I can't go to Corsica. Well, this is the New World Order. So, uh, well, too bad. I can't make you this film now. Well, that's destiny. Before was no problem. I was still there in 2003. And it wasn't like that. Oh, it's getting worse and worse. Where is it ending?
So now they even want from, to go from France, in France, they want to make a, uh, an entire uh, customs office here. Duan. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Well, I'm going to try with this the last time I'll take the boat here. Uh, uh, apparently, I just talked to the guy here and he said uh, it's not the... Uh, it's not the French who want this, they don't really care. It's uh, the European Communion from Brussels who want to uh, impose this. So this is Brussels, you know, with the pyramids, security, it looks like an obelisk. It's like in the Middle Ages, you know, an outlook post or, it's horrible. And it's like a bloody airport to go to bloody from France to France. I'm not going to pass through here. Ah, just want to take the bloody boat. So here somewhere I slept in the garden of a fine hotel, five stars hotel. I should have filmed it, but I was so busy not being seen, you know, so I, oh, I forgot it. Well, there's life and there's YouTube, you know, life goes on and you're busy and you forget things, you know. Uh, but, uh, okay, so this is Nice. And, um... There was the other Templars flag. It's full of Templars flags. Templars flags over there. So I got about five, four or five boats with a Templars flag here. Oh, uh, don't you think these guys are gone, eh? Hey? Another little boat's coming up. Gorge <laughs> Tank. Whoa. Oh, George Tank. Hi, George. King George War. I just finished my first bottle on the ship. I'm going to do the second one. So I had a nice French joke. I just got it by myself and I said, Je suis un sous-marin. <laughs> so only the French will understand it. <laughs> I'm a submarine, but it also means something else. Sous, it means drunk. A drunken sailor, a sous-marin. <laughs> That's humor. So the boat is moving, finally. I never had thought to have made, I would have made it with all these problems. It's moving. Leaving port. Slowly, slowly, because there's a lot of, a lot of way to be stopped afterwards. The rocks are very hard. So finally leaving port to leaving these, I never thought to be on that. But I am. Wow. So I can continue to do the video for you guys. Leaving port. The sea cloud. Hotel while I was sleeping in the garden. That one here. That was nice. So there's the hotel and I slept there where the cars are. Over there where the gardens are. There I slept there for two nights. Uh, 
film them. It's too busy hiding. So oh, that's the ocean. So I'm leaving these finally. Bye. Mediterranean. Getting very near to the pharaohs in ancient Egypt. So the pyramid I filmed in winter. I don't see anything in the screen here, but it's up up this hill somewhere. So it's better to have a camera with the with a viewer in it see much more but with this LCD screen it's quite difficult so there sneeze no, I can't do it I don't see a thing with the light in camera with the view maybe it was here maybe it was this Le Mont Chauve where the pyramid is I don't see very much here I'm standing in the shadow now, see some more. The, uh, the sea is getting a bit rougher. We're getting nearer to Corsica. I think it takes about six hours altogether. Oh, oh, I, uh, too much light. Nice sea. Nice ocean. Lifeboats. There's a live boat here. Can't see very much.
There's the Harvard police, they're probably coming to pick me up. Uh, I made it to Calvi, I just hitchhiked here from the Red Island. I wonder why, why the birds are so upset. Listen. The birds are very upset. Oh, it was very windy. So there's Calvi. Yesterday a legionnaire, he took me hitchhiking. So I didn't sleep at the beach, not next to a larger town, because it's full of people. The Corsicans who make the money there don't want you to sleep there, they want you to go on a camping site. And uh, it attracts uh, uh, dangerous people, not, not in Corsica I think, but anyway, I want to sleep, you know. You can't sleep on beaches, you know, where it's deserted beaches, but not, need not these ones. So then I passed a lot of camps, campings, a lot of camping sites. And then I went further up, a lot of bungalows and nice houses with gardens. And then I made it up to here, this is called Lemaki. This is a, uh, a rare place with, where it's only stone. Most of it is very dense like this. You, you can't even pass through it, only the cows can. There's a lot of... In the Second World War there's a lot of guerrillas that were hiding here and now there's a lot of mafiosi hiding. And that's why they called the Friends of Resistance Le Maquis. So there's some nice fruits. Uh, on the cactus, I'm gonna eat them. A lot of things are eatable. <clears throat> now this is where I slept. It was quite windy. But uh, this is where I slept. And I thought if it starts raining, there's a nice cave. But in Corsica it doesn't rain in, in summer. But here's a nice cave. <laughs> well I don't like caves very much, you know, because it's the spiders in it and snakes, you know. So I know they're from South Africa, from back home. Too many snakes. And apparently, there are no snakes in Corsica. So I'm gonna have a dip in the pool today. So I always make a pillow out of my clothes and then I, if I just sleep somewhere but here won't be coming anybody, I put my the pillow on here, on this part of the backpack which is going on top. So if somebody tries to pull it away while I'm sleeping, then I'll sense it. So I don't like to put my backpack just away from me. And then I put the little one inside because it's empty, the sleeping bags are out. And if I put up my tent, I don't have to do that. It's just some techniques. Sleep better. So here's some nice cactus fruit. Fruit. I'm gonna eat a couple. They're real nice. So that keeps me going. I'm gonna eat for. I'm gonna live on it for a few days, you know. If you have to. So what I do because these things got pins on it right here. Um, I take an old one where the pins are gone and then I cut it off from the tree and I let it fall in my plate here. 
Look what a nice fruit it is. You see? Very nice. And I'm going to peel it. Yeah. This is how you survive in the desert. Oh, there's my fruit. I peeled it. There it is. The knife. This is how I survived in quite a few deserts. Uh, like back home in South Africa, Namibia. Yeah. Nice fruit. Look at that. I'm gonna enjoy this. Keeps me going for a few days, maybe. I'll eat on this for a few days. See, I almost finished it. I think cactus fruits, fruits are one of the most delicious fruits at all. Maybe it's also because when you're really thirsty, like in a desert, and you get one of these, that really tastes much better. And if you want to eat things from nature, you know, like berries can be dangerous, uh, very dangerous. You rub it is first in, in your skin and see what it does, and then after a day, if it's okay, if it doesn't give any, um, if your skin takes it, then you um, you eat a bit of it, put it in your mouth, and then spit it out, and wait another day, and then your next day, if that's okay, you swallow a little bit, and um, so this is how you you know how you see if it, if it's not poisonous or you know, and then finally if it's okay, you eat it. And of course, it also makes a nice tequila, but I don't have the time to do to wait for that. <laughs> there, there's my tequila. <laughs> of course, you can church and Calvi with some obelisks on it. The priest of Amun. There he arrived. A pink church. So apparently in uh, in France the, the uh, queers can get married, so that's why the pink church looks fucking out. Yeah. Means the French Legion is there. It's yesterday the guy took me a from there. Castle in Calais. So apparently I missed the uh, the international days where all the the IRA and the ETA of the bus they all come together. It was a month ago, it used to be right now, but they changed it and it's so I'm sorry I can't do it for you. I'm very sorry. You know, some weird pharaonic statue here. And there's the uh, uh, police control. Looking for some Corsican gorillas or something. Hello, Mrs. Isis with the wings in Corsica. Oh, this is Corsica. It's very green. I'm hitchhiking. Anybody takes me. So I had a hard time finding a place to sleep. Yesterday the hitchhiking didn't work anymore. So this is a place called Le Marquis. And uh, this trek is made by the cows. So here the cows, they don't walk around on meadows. There are no meadows for cows. They live in, in Le Marquis. And the farmer doesn't even know how many cows he has because of just walking around you see how how thick this is you never get through this this is worse than a jungle really i've been in jungles but this is <laughs> you don't get through here not even with a machete you do this is limaki but the animals do i heard foxes and so this is all over the terrain well there are forests in Corsica. so here look this is made by animals here, I don't know what. You're going, I, I, so I don't know what the cows are eating. 
They're eating all these plants. They don't eat grass, so they're as lean as racehorses. As lean and mean as a bucking horse. <laughs> and this is what they crap. You ever see a cow crapping this? It's like, it's like from a horse, because they eat all these dry uh, plants. They probably don't eat everything, but just saw them. And here's a dry waterbed, which gets very dangerous in the, uh, in the summer sometimes. People die because of the high altitude. So if it rains, which is very seldom, but sometimes it only rains in the, uh, in the mountains. And if you hear it, you must run. If you hear the thunder, you must run because there's a whole tsunami coming down. And uh, that happened on several occasions already. So it's all maki. As uh, in the Second World War, they call the resistance, which started in Corsica, they call it Le Maquisa, the resistance guys, Le Maquisa. So the guys who live in Le Maqui, like me. <laughs> okay. So here they are, the Corsican wild cows in their meadow. I just call him, see what he does. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> and they give a totally different meat. Very good meat. You wouldn't say it was a cow. If they're walking on the road as well, you know, they just let them free. They don't know how many there are, they're like half wild. I call him again. I say goodbye. Bye bye, Corsican cow. <laughs> so, Corsica. Well, the weather is a bit better. It was very windy. It must have been very bad weather in Europe. So, here again is the Maquis. You don't get through it and it's all over. Only the water bed makes, but I can't sleep there. And uh, I can't even sleep there, you know, because it's all, everything stings. All, every, every plant, every single plant stings. I'm in a half desert. I could sleep there. But the place I had was really good. So if you want to sleep somewhere in Corsica, you know, if you're stuck like, as I did hitchhiking, then just follow the cow shit. You know? I'm very sorry, I, I can't do this video for you about the um, about the terrorist scene here. And, um, well, that's what the government calls terrorists. They could probably call me a terrorist as well with my videos. And um, I, I missed it, they changed the date. I always thought it was the first weekend of September. So that's, that's a pity, really. That would have made a good movie, but uh, I, tried to, uh, I tried to give something else and, yeah. So here's some fresh Corsican cow crap. And uh, so these are the path they make. This is a cow path here. So this is what I followed. I, I couldn't find any place to sleep. It all, was all like bush like here. And at some occasions, they like here as well, they eat, they eat it free for just a little space for my tent. Yeah. So here it gets bigger to the road. Yeah. So, but this is still the Corsican cow, uh, the cow channels, and here's the, the bush, Le Maki. You see? Yeah, you won't get through here. It's like bars of a prison. Nature's prison. What's hiding in there, eh? Yeah. So this really is what a Corsican meadow looks like. You know, follow the cow track. Just follow the cow track. <laughs> yeah. This is a Corsican meadow. Beautiful animals. Beautiful. You see, cows are just... They're walking free on the road. Well, there's a bull. Hi, bull. There's another one, probably the mother. You can go on the streets as well. Just has to walk around the fence. You see? 
As lean and mean as a bucking horse. <laughs> Mur. There's another cow on the road. Another hitchhiker. There's real many Corsicans who hate the tourists. In spite of the fact they're making money out of them, you know. I just asked for a toilet paper roll there. They were very, very mean. Sort of aggressive. And uh, so I said, well, I can pay for it, you know. You want the euro or, you know. No, they refuse. Uh, they all want to drive a car, have a cell phone, and only take the profitable things of the of France and Europe. But they uh, they hate the uh, they hate the tourists. In fact, not all of them, but I think most of them. So I was hitchhiking with this car here and they stopped here so I can have a little view. Weather is getting a bit better. So there's two great Germans taking me in the, um, in the caravan the Austrians. van. Austrians! Are you Austrian? I thought you were German, I'm sorry. <laughs> So, in the VW camping car. No, get out. In Corsica. <laughs> what? What's that? So, the journey's over, get out. <laughs> get out. No, why get out? I said it was a nice car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not? Yeah, German. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm very glad for a while to be away from the Swiss terror. Here, won't be here in Corsica in France there won't be anybody to put that will put a gun on my head you know like the Swiss terrorists of the Swiss Nazi fascist police and their fascist justice department so I'm um, you know I'm getting some energy you know getting some powers back like It's been very hard the last 16 years under constant terror and being constantly afraid, you know, of being tortured and terrorized, you know, as they did. So, vive la France. Just finish these two bottles here. Apple cider. It's real beautiful here. Freedom. I haven't had any freedom for the last 16 years, like, you know, only in France. Another day in freedom. So I was here 20 years ago, hasn't really changed, that's nice, just building a new bridge, uh, the river is called La Liamone, next to Sagon, it's the only place in France where you can find a nice quiet beach in Corsica, and if I go over there it's probably still the same, there won't, there won't be anybody there, I'll show it to you. Uh, this, is one, this is one of the rare places in southern France where you can have a whole beach for yourself, there's nobody here. And it's still the same. Here's the ocean. 
Been here for two days, I haven't had a dip in the pool yet because of the wind and the storm. Too many people. I like it quiet. Okay. So this is Jonas from Germany, he got shipwrecked, his right. ship fell apart, so he got stranded here, <laughs> he almost drowned, he even got a coffee machine with him. Right, yeah. <laughs> and Police Française. Vous dormez, monsieur. Police Française. <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. Ciao, Jonas. Was gut. Doch. So I'm hitchhiking here in a jack show. It was a French doctor who took me in his convertible, a Peugeot convertible, real nice. The lion car, <laughs> real nice man. So so this is a jack show where Napoleon is from. And Napoleon was a pharaoh. There's the ship. Oh, this is the road to Corsica. So I was hitchhiking with this guy here. And there's an obelisk, or what used to be an obelisk. They, the sort of the, uh, the upper part is missing. That is, with the devil on it, the grail. And uh, in Corsica, in Ajaccio. This is my ride here. The nice French doctor invited me to eat in a Chinese restaurant. We could have eat as much as we could. So here's the obelisk. Here's the uh, the alliance, the uh, the joining, and uh, well, something missing. So this is in the town of uh, Napoleon. So there's a church in Corsica in Ajaccio, full of obelisks. I already saw some, the hieroglyph, the Freemasons. I already saw some other obelisks. So uh, there's definitely quite a lot of pharaohs here. Well, I mean, Napoleon is from here. Sarkozy got married here, what do you think? You just cross the dip and you get to the other side in Egypt. It's wonderful. This is what my tent looks like in the morning. And Anne's highway in my tent. And last night, and I, I never had so many m mosquitoes. Little black aggressive mosquitoes. Whole swarms of mosquitoes, little black aggressive Corsican mosquitoes fell over me when I was planting my tent. Uh, uh,
So my behind was already aching from the sun and uh, so after I put up my tent I had to take a dump and they all fell over me, these horrible little black mosquitoes, a whole swarm over my poor little already molested by the sun, my, my behind, yeah, so I was aching double or triple. <laughs> oh, me takuyasim! When I was here 20 years ago, there was absolutely nobody. I was here alone. But maybe you guys notice there are people there. When it, come, when it comes nearer to me, you know, because I'm lying in the nude, showing my molested bum, <laughs> there's nobody near to me. Funny, eh? So, a molested bum, sunburned, and by these Corsican mosquitoes, well, it, it, it has a use for something, you know, find some solitude, what I like, you know, it scares everybody away. <laughs> it scares them all away. It's swollen like the triple size of Venice all red, you know. <laughs> so nobody dares to come near me. Look at the whole beach here for myself, like. <laughs> Thank you, mosquitoes. I just washed my sweaty clothes in the sea. Uh, good for rinsing, a lot of water. The salt will probably just drop off. And I washed it in a plastic bag. Swiss supermarket. Emil Wobisto. This is a very nice Polish family uh, with their camping car. Real nice people. We spend a lot of time together. And um, I, I met them um, uh, by accident again on the road. This is Sebastian, Magdalena, Emil, and they're going to do some swimming here. Yeah. <laughs> Nice dessert to beach here. Right. So in Corsica in the mountains, this is Neolithic. This is they found this, this is thousands of years old. Looks a bit like the supermarket, Super U. Don't know what it is. People made this thousands of years ago. Interesting. Next to an old church. away from the beach going inland where the where the Corsican terrorists are so inside the little Corsican church here yeah. there are some very religious people here who go on religious festivities they go all the way on their knees today like in Tibet you know like Some old Corsican lady. <laughs> so I'm here in the mountains, there's sort of a political activity going on. Somebody took me hitchhiking. And uh, well, I'm going to have a look. So here are things going on. So it's quite wild here. See, you can't pass through this here, here in the mountains. It's very green. And uh, here it's like raining and thunder here. 
as at the beach it's real nice weather. Very strange. In Corsica as well, the, the French resistance against the Nazi occupation started in Corsica. As you can imagine if you see this here. So I heard this yesterday too, it was at the beach. At the beach it was beautiful weather. And here it was like uh, hail, even hail in, this, in August, you know, in, in, uh, in the Mediterranean. It's all nature. It's a uh, good place to hide, to make a stand, eh? The cemetery is clean, no obelisks. It's very Catholic here. Nice church. I think the name is Marignani. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to a political activity here. Uh, they still practice the vendetta here. Blood revenge. Uh, I tell you, they're worse than the Sicilians. <laughs> Obelisk in Marignana in Corsica. And I've seen more. That's why you lose you guys, you know, because. Uh, you're infiltrated, <laughs> as always. Your Ometa doesn't help. Doesn't work. Marignana. Obelisk, well, sort of like an obelisk. That's the sea. So I'm standing now at the at the ground of a Corsican farmer uh, where some problems and I'm gonna upload them on YouTube. Well, well chemtrails in Corsica. They do it here too. So these are some Corsican friends where I slept. It's all mountains and trees, green. Nice camp trails in Corsica. That's so why I slept in Zagon. I have a dip in the pool. I haven't eaten in three days. Never mind. Christy Notch. Pyramid. Obelisk. Funny symbols on it. One car passing by every three hours. I think this is where I'm hiking to. It's the next village. Nice bridge, it's gonna be fun. 
<laughs> Wozika is real nice for hiking. Oh, that's quite shaky. Oh dear. Very shaky. I have to stop filming now. It's too shaky. See? I have no money for camping places. So the only thing that's left is the bush. Le Maquis. They call the bush Le Maquis, as I told you. It's only Le Maquis, there's nothing else here. So I'm not on a camping place with the sheeple, where the cows are. I'm in the bush. Le Maquis. And I want to tell you very briefly about uh, Special Forces training. Um, why do they have the, uh, the soldiers uh, have such an extensive physical training? Because when they're so exhausted, and they learn to be exhausted, if you're physically exhausted, your mind gets exhausted. And then you're ready to take up any orders the pharaohs give to you. And this is the main thing of it. And then they give you a badge and a medal and you think you're so tough and better than the others. Like, you know, but you're not. You're just a bit more stupid taking orders. If you're, if you're like physically totally empty, which they have you do, like in the Navy SEALs and the SAS and all that, and the French Legion, if you're completely exhausted and empty and... Uh, yeah, haven't eaten very much and under uh, severe conditions, running and walking and hiking, then you're mentally exhausted as well. And your mind is empty. You're ready for all sorts of uh, political indoctrination. Ready to, t and you believe them, you trust them, and uh, you're ready to take up any orders. And you, and you only act by reflexes. No, you don't think anymore. You pull the trigger, you know, it's just a reflex. It's, it's, you don't even have to think about it. So you don't think about fear. You don't think about anything. They all got it figured out, you know, these pharaohs. They all got it figured out. Oh, we are so stupid. Guess what that is. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. It was mine. I won't say any more. Pigs too, they're all in the wild, they're happy, the cows and the pigs, the little piggies. There's a lot of wild boar here as well. Oh, this is not a boar. Oh, this is mankind. We're all crucified. We are their prisoners. We are their sheep. We are just a pile of, there you go, I'll give them the rest of my Swiss crackers, I mean, this is what they want anyway, so. Look at it, look, wow, mmm, Swiss crackers. Oh, they find it, they have a brilliant smell, very well equipped. Well, don't worry, I won't leave it. I'll take it with me. Package. Mmm, nice. 
Yeah, that makes you want to come to Switzerland, but I tell you, that's a prison. It won't be as free as here. Oh, no. You'll be locked in in a cage the whole day. That's what I do with freedom in Switzerland. So you better stay here and wait for the tourists. Well, that was nice, eh? <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't. No. So I guess I had to open up a new package. <laughs> There's the old one. So there goes my food. Oh, that's life. I have to give nature a present back for make me had me make make me sleep here well this is nice hey but don't stand on it oh there's the other one wrong code oh, that was me <laughs> now look at dear Muslims and dear Jews. Well, look at these lovely animals. I mean, you say they are like from the devil, you can't eat them. They are dirty. Look, look how clean, how lovely they are. You shouldn't persecute them or, you know, it's a lovely and a very strong animal. It's been here for, since prehistoric times and, uh, yeah, don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of the pigs. Look how lovely they are. And they trust me, they come to me, you know. So dear Jews and dear Muslims, don't be afraid of them. And don't think they're from the devil or something. Corsica is a hot climate as well and the Corsicans love to eat them. Well, not the small ones. They give them a chance to live first and they do give them a chance here to live in freedom. Yeah. Well, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. And don't be afraid, you, you can eat them, it won't hurt you. Uh, it's a hot climate here as well, like in the desert, you know, and people eat them. Just don't fall into religious dogmatism. Hey, there's the cross. So here's the cross, there are the piggies. So I had to give him the rest so I can wrap up my things and especially this one here, he's real bold. He sneaked up me, on me from behind, you know, they were there and he walked around and the others followed him. We might say he's a leader, uh, I don't think so, he's just, he's just, he's got something more, that's all. He wants, he wants to be free, he doesn't want to be a leader. So they sneaked up me onto me from here especially this one here and they all follow them and uh, so I had to give them the rest so two package empty I have no no more to eat well it's life eh? so the mother pig came and show her piglets to me and um, well I mean in Switzerland, it's a clean country, it's neutral, they're so innocent, but they, I've seen how pigs are tied up in the stables, they can't move, they don't see any sunshine, never, ever, and uh, until they finally end up in the bacon. 
And here in Corsica they're supposed to be a violent, aggressive people who are dangerous. But they let the animals walk free. So who is the good hearted here? Target practice Corsican style. Some more target practice. So here I'm in bandit country. Was that 308? That was the other one. Oh, these guys are doing some real gun practice here. All over. And that one too. Da -da 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 -da. Boom, boom, boom. These one too. So this is a very large extended forest. Uh, these trees they used for building masts of the ships and they probably still do it. It's the, called the, the forest of Ailton Paisulu. And I'm here in a sort of a ghost village here. I don't know what it is. I actually got invited here, but I don't know what's happening. So... So I got invited by the Corsicans to stay here. So in this sort of a holiday resort. Real nice. I can stay here days and days, they said. Well, I don't, I'm not gonna... They brought me food. I haven't eaten for a couple of days, so it's nice. So I can recharge my battery here, uh, take a shower, make brew, brew some coffee, put myself in the sun. So that's real nice. I mean, that's traveling. Uh, uh, the good old backpack, eh? This is one of those large extended forests here in Corsica. Got a lot of forest here. So here's the ghost village. There's nobody here. I slept here last night. <sighs> Mais moi je m'arrête pas, hein? Non, tu recules, hein? Oui, et oui, tu réfléchis avec ta tête, hein? Non, c'est pas vrai, j'ai fait comme ça. J'ai pas dit d'avancer? Oh! <laughs> non, mais. Euh, Bon. The three pillars for Isis, uh, Horus and uh, Seth. It's very uh, Freemasonry stuff here in uh, Bruchetta. Bastian Corsica leaving. So one of these other islands here is Alba where Napoleon was banned to. We 
should have stayed there. I don't see very much. No, no, video. Achete. Dis salut. Salut. <laughs> There's even a swimming pool on board. I'm gonna have a dip later on, just to say what I've done it, you know. So I've just done 400 kilometers in this German car here and uh, well that's enormous in France, very nice man here. I'd like to tell you about uh, autostop race. Uh, it's hitchhikers race uh, going every year from uh, Wrocław in Poland uh, at fir first days of May. Uh, this is really crazy. I've never been there, just heard about that. Um, I need to check it and maybe you can do it in the future also. So there were 1,500 people starting at one petrol station, all hitchhiking to Spain? Uh, from 50 to... no. Uh, in uh, Spain, it was another race, uh, a few years ago, a few days ago, sorry. And it was uh, about 300 people there. Yeah. This time it was 300 people? Yeah, this time 300. Wow. But, uh, so there was a hitchhiker party going from Poland to... Barcelona. To Barcelona, yeah. Wow, but, I, ne I never heard about these things. But at May uh, it will be around 1,000 people on the race. And yeah. It will be amazing. So who won? Uh, pardon? Who won? Who won? Uh, two girls always. Two girls? Two girls, always two girls. Uh, how how much win. time did they need? Uh, to Barcelona I think about 26 hours. 26 so hours? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. It's always the girls winning, eh? Always. <laughs> and they're wearing a, sh uh, a skirt, eh? They're uh, having like showing their legs and so it goes quick, you know? I guess so. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, so I'm here in the middle of the night trying to get somewhere. So I hitchhiked from Corsica. I made it to here. Guy in a Porsche took day. me. From yeah. Corsica to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six o'clock in the morning. And I came from there. Barcelona today and met this guy <laughs> traveling for a long time. It's a <laughs> nice meeting. <laughs> On the way back, next to the motorway, um, in the north of France again. Very dense forest here, very nice. All these little trees here. I'm crossing the Swiss fucking Swiss border through the mice here. I won't let, I won't show you the whole bit because you probably get quite uh, boring. I'm almost there. That's Switzerland. So, you know, bastards. 